In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to boost your productivity as a Web3 developer. ChatGPT is a massive game changer. If you use it, you will remain competitive on the job market. But if you don't use it, other developers will outcompete you. So pay attention to this video. If you're new here, I'm Julian and on the blogs, I help you to become a Web3 expert. And if you want to learn how to get started in the Web3 industry, what you need to learn and what to do to find your first job in the Web3, check out my free masterclass. The link is just down below. So what is ChatGPT? So this is a product of OpenAPI, which is a company that was created in 2015 by some heavyweights of the tech industry like Sam Altman and Elon Musk. So ChatGPT was launched in 2022, so it's pretty recent, and it took off like crazy. It was a major improvement compared to previous generation of AI models. And that's because it was trained on a much bigger data set than previous AI tools. So ChatGPT is a prompt that you can use to ask questions and it answer you. And you can even keep the conversation to fine tune your question. A lot of people believe that it's going to revolutionize the entire economy, including software development. It's a really big thing, similar in scope to the internet in the 90s and 2000s. So you really have to pay attention. So let's see how we can use ChatGPT for Web3 development. The first use case is to learn Solidity. It's basically a better Google and a better Stack Overflow. You can ask it question about the Solidity language and it will answer you. So for example, let's ask it, what is the mapping? And it provides a pretty good answer. Now let's ask another question about errors. This time it provides a partial answer and that's because ChatGPT was trained on data up to 2021 and at this time custom errors in Solidity didn't exist yet. Another way to use ChatGPT for Web3 is to ask it to explain the code of smart contract. And it even works with complex smart contract code like Uniswap V3. However, once again, we are limited in time to 2021, so you cannot know the latest version of Uniswap V3 unless you copy paste it in the prompt. Another example would be to explain some inline assembly, which is usually pretty difficult to understand. So here with this assembly code, we store and read data and ChatGPT provides a pretty good explanation. Another possibility is to use ChatGPT to generate some code for you. So let's ask it to generate an ERC20 in Solidity and we can be very specific. So here we said that we want to use open Zeppelin and we provide a different parameter and it does a perfect job. Then we can ask it to transform our Solidity code into Viper and it does it very well. And another thing it can do, and not many people know that, is that we can transform the generated code into an intermediary representation like a YAML file. And after, we can transfer back this YAML file into Solidity, into Viper, or into any other smart contract language. I think this is a very powerful use case of ChatGPT. Another example is to rewrite our ERC20 token with inline assembly. That's a very good way to learn about assembly. Another ID for using ChatGPT is to generate tests for your smart contract. So it's always very boring to write tests. ChatGPT can do it for you. And you can even specify which framework to generate the test for. So here we specify we want tests for hot hat. And after let's try to transform this test to Foundry. So sometimes ChatGPT fails, it did something, but for Foundry it was wrong. Another possibility is to use ChatGPT for debugging your smart contract. So here is a smart contract with two bugs. We ask ChatGPT to debug it and it does find two bugs. Another possibility is to use ChatGPT for gas optimization. So here we ask it to optimize this contract, which is pretty simple. And it find two optimizations. So I knew about one of them when we reordered the declaration of variable, but there was another optimization that I didn't know. So I learned something that's great. Another possibility is to use chat GPT for smart contract vulnerability. And that can be especially useful if you are doing smart contract auditing. So here in this smart contract, it was able to find a re-entrancy vulnerability. So ChatGPT is very powerful. However, it has some limitation and you have to be aware of them. So first of all, the data set that was used to train ChatGPT was up to 2021. So everything that is after that, ChatGPT is unable to access this data unless you copy paste it directly in the prompt. 
Also, sometimes ChatGPT does mistakes and the big issue is that it's very confident even when it makes mistake. So sometimes ChatGPT can be very misleading. It can also produce code that doesn't compile. So you cannot just be a parrot that uses ChatGPT if you don't know yourself. You have to be an expert and you need to be able to verify what ChatGPT does. So it can make you save you a lot of time, but it can also be dangerous. And the big question that many Web3 developers are wondering right now is will AI replace Web3 developers? It's going to make it a little bit harder for junior developers because ChatGPT is a little bit like a junior developer that can be your assistant, but it's going to make intermediate and senior developers even more productive. So that's one of the rare example where you have a technology that gives an advantage to senior people. Usually it's the other way around. So if you are a junior, don't lose hope. You can still find a job in Web3 and try to leverage the power of ChatGPT to improve your productivity. You will get there. And if you want to learn how to get started in the Web3 industry, what you need to learn and what to do to find your first job in the Web3, check out my free masterclass. The link is just down below. That's it for this video. Bye.